how often do the three of you work together now on a day-to-day -day basis? And what do you do if you have any disagreements with each other? <laughs> we sit down every week, you know, kind of formally. So every uh, Monday afternoon, the three of us get together to talk about the weekend and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and anything else. Um, so that's the kind of formal bit. And, you know, all, all three of us are, you know, in, based here in, here in the office. We're always kind of uh, passing by. We, the big arguments tend to be about the stuff that any anyone can have a, an opinion on. When, it, when we were setting up the business, we kind of divided up responsibilities. So Adam was looking after sales, and I was looking after supply chain, and Rich was looking after marketing. We just kind of trusted each other to get on with that. But when we got our first little room, and it came to painting it, because it was you know, a little hovel we found, the color of the paint became a huge, it's a proper stand-up, you know, shouting and growl. Where, I mean, Dan was in the company then, there were about six people, and they were just watching the three of us have this absolute bulls out argument about the colour of the paint of the, of the world. <laughs> so, fortunately, we've kind of invented things on the things that don't matter and agreed on the things that do. The thing is, we trust each other on our sort of the professional ways. You know, John knows how to make things far better than I do, and I'll, you know, in the end, I'll challenge him, but he, you know, he's right on that. Whereas it comes to paint colour, why should his grey be better than my blue? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> what colour was it in the end? <laughs> Grey blue. <laughs> it's probably worth saying actually, isn't it? What you, what, where your responsibilities lie these days, compared to those yes, what yeah, yes, yeah. So I used to look after the sales piece in the UK, and now um, I, I, I don't do anything in the UK. It's all about the international business. So I'm trying to spread the international business, show up, not bring business. In. So I used to look after the supply chains, so sourcing the fruits, getting the product made and delivered. Um, but now I look after the UK business, so everything that goes on in the UK. Uh, so I, yeah, John said I used to look after the marketing side. Uh, the three of us share the, we call ourselves the co-CEO, so the three of us share the, the, the ultimate leadership of the business, and then my other title is Brand and Corporate Affairs Director, so I work with Dan on, on creative stuff, and I also have the great glamorous job of campaigning to get VAT off smoothies and other things like that, so I didn't quite imagine setting up my own business <laughs> 12 years later being sort of the guy in charge of VAT legislation, <laughs> somehow, weirdly, it's happened to me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>